Pokemon is a video game series with an iron grip on your gonad since childhood, leading it to become the most grossing franchise ever. It might be due to the fact they sowed the seeds of furrydom while young, and now they reap the rewards for as long as there are furry based Pokemon, there shall be sales in the droves. Well that's my working theory, and I've come to prove it by ranking some of the most furry baitable Pokemon according to the Rule 34 at E621 entries, their score being determined by which site has the bigger number between the two. Organized as follows, less than 1000 because in Pokemon, even the lowest common denominator will drain your testicles. UU you, you for underused, for one they don't get as much action, from 1000 to 5000 posts. Furry baits, money makers, but not quite the heavy hitters. 5,001 to 9,999. Sex symbol. You already know some that are gonna be here. From 10,000 up to 14,999. And Uber tier. These are the cream of the yif. The absolute mascots that Game Freak must include in every game. From 15,000 posts and above. I hope you enjoyed this cursed video. Starting from the bottom tier and making our way to the top. Kicking things off, we have Serena. This person looking plant is from Gen 7 and is someone that has not seen the moon or the sun in decades. I think it exists. 844, 696 entries. Lilligant, a Pokemon I actually remember for dancing about and screwing me over. According to artists, she has a nice cake. That's about it. 523, 594 posts. Vespa Queen. This queen adept at slaying and at not existing because good luck finding a female combi. Which also applies to its art since not many remember it does exist. 212, 263 people remember it to be exact. Roserade. The beautiful rose, and just like in real life, the prettier, the more toxic. Avoid at all costs. 763, 799. Urshifu, the kung fu of the Pokemon verse. Apparently, people like getting railed by muscular furries that also know jujitsu and wrestling. Who would have thought? Fortunately for it, not many consider it to be a true Shifu. 453, 558. Buzzwool, another beefcake. It feeds by sucking the creatine and steroids out of other Pokemon, inflating its already bulging and bulbous muscle mass. Luckily, it doesn't inflate its lust factor. 130, 167. Florges, a living flower that smells like flowers. Yeah, that does not remind me of her. Nor does it remind anyone of their existence, explaining her low turnout. 226, 432. Jinx, also known as Mr. Popo's booty call. With that detail and those wiener sucking lips, the fact she doesn't have much is honestly confusing. 295, 310. Gothitelle, the Lolita goth girlfriend no one wants it because she's a complete doomer, only fixated on your passing away and the end of all. 480, 438. Rapidash, included because women love horses for no apparent reason. But this horse isn't as popular since it's thought of a darker coloration. 927 and 768 women do appreciate them at least. Cloyster and Onyx, included as a pair because that's how Game Freak intended. They share an inseparable love. Cloyster with her 61 and 121 entries, and Onyx with its penetrating force of 109 and 189 entries consummating their love. Thus marking the end of the Lucky Bastards, in comparison. Now for the Lost Sinners. Underused, a title that only works in context of Pokemon because dear god they are used. Especially in comparison to any other franchise. Weavile, one look at that Pokemon and you already know the fate that awaits her in the furry community. 2,416, 2.8 thousand posts. Nido Queen, Nido Slay, Milf Mama, by name alone was condemned. 1,399 and 2.1 thousand entries. No tank. In this case as well, you can understand why on name alone. But I'm genuinely unsure if it's due to Whitney's Miltank or Whitney's Miltanks. But either one does roll out quite the pounding. 1,029, 1.1 1 .1 thousand. Garchomp, also known as Cynthia's Ace. And let me tell you, the beating it gave you as a child was motivated by the sole goal of pounding that Cynthia 2,323 times. Latias. Yes, you just saw correctly, and remember, Latias kissed Ash that one time. Luckily for Ash, it wasn't 2,813 times, or 3,500 times. Greninja, what that tongue do? I don't have to explain this one, especially not to the ladies. 2,527, 3,400. Milotic, the serene and graceful counterpart to Gyarados. And the slicker the design, the schlickier the lay. 1,026, 1,300. Superior. 
my personal starter pick in Gen 5, but apparently where I see Snake, others see something wrapping around their non-drifting joystick. 2,155 and 2.7 thousand entries. Samurott, another black and white starter. This one I have no idea, I'm assuming it's the whiskers. 1,769, 1.8 thousand. Free Marina, water starters back to back. I am concerned this Pokemon went from needing a defense force to needing Chris Hansen to protect it from said group. 1,366, 2.2 thousand. Ditto, yeah this Pokemon owes more child support than anyone in fiction. Easily beating out Virgil in that category. 1,331, 1.3 thousand posts. Incineroar, a beefcake cat that can treat you right just like that one's Utopia tiger. I'm more disturbed day by day. 3,890 and 4.5 thousand entries. Float zone, I kinda get it here, but at the same time, I don't. 2,222, 2.7 thousand. Feromosa, it looks like Lusamine, so I completely understand. The more red flags, the better. 1,421, 1.1 thousand. Delphox, the moment I saw her, I knew she more than fulfilled the Gen 6 furry bait quota. But I still expected more to be honest. 3,474, 4.5 thousand. Salazzle. Just like Markiplier saw, this thing was made and born for furry baits. It has pheromones that attract even humans. It's designed for breeding, so it's weird to me that it only has 2,948 and 3,600 posts. That is a travesty. You guys had one job with Zalazo and you failed. Make more. Zeraora. Apparently Gen 7 loves furry baits. This is getting out of hand and into his ass 2,280 or 3,000 times. Hypno, this thing is also called Chris Hansen's Arch Enemy, or the Consent is Optional Pokemon. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. 3,999, 1,200. Machoke, yeah, basically buff muscular dude. He can also choke you, as his name implies, so understandable. 2,196, 1.8k. Meloetta, oh she can sing alright. 1,256, 1,000. Meowscarada. The recent Fury Rage, she can play quite a few tricks like making your joystick disappear. 2,434, 2,700 posts. Luxray, this thing is cool and edgy. Yeah, that's it. 3,083, 3,500. Mewtwo, being built like that kind of doomed it from its very conception. 4,355, 4,600. Gallade, the counterpart to a future Titan in this video. But since it's not as female, it's not as popular. 1,076, 1,100. Zepstrika, the cooler horse, a lot more popular with ladies thanks to its affinity with the BBC News Network. 1,597, 1,200. Hatterene, Gen 7 again. Don't know much about this Pokemon, just that it once laid eggs inside Gardevoir during some sort of wrestling match or something, I don't know. But well, what I do know is that it has 1,237 and 1.2k entries. And now, some proper furry bait. Lugia. Your singing has restored my strength, and by singing, it means moans. 5,318, 6.3 thousand. Absol. With its emo and brooding look, no wonder it's popular considering e-boys are all the rage lately. 5,240, 5.1 thousand. Zoroark. The goth girlfriend that can be whatever you want, baby. No wonder she's so popular, almost breaking into sex symbol. 8,328, 9.4 thousand. Lycanroc, considering its appearance, furries call it the Lycan cock. With 5,335 and 6.9k posts. Nice. Cinderace, the Cristiano Ronaldo of Pokemon, and just like him, Cinderace gets half naked and then fully naked. 5,611, 5,900 posts. Blaziken, this hot chicken wing with those chicken drumsticks for legs is a very popular. Especially that after the deed you can just eat her like KFC. 6,139 and another 6.9k. And now the second poster boy of the Pokemon franchise, Charizard. This fire lizard is everywhere and the furry community is no exception. It'll burn it off but also keep you warm. 9,015 and 9.2 thousand posts. Espeon, the psychic evolution. It can read your thoughts and it knows you want to bang it. 5,483, 6.4 thousand. Flareon, the warm evolution. It's nice and toasty, but does not know any moves or positions. 4,248, 5.1 thousand. Jolteon, the car battery evolution. It will make you feel quite tingly or be the last tingle you ever fear if you hook it up to your nipples. 4,630, 5.2 thousand. Leafeon, the vegan alternative to evolutions, gives tossing salad a whole other meaning. 4,590, 5.4 thousand. 
Glaceon, the cold shoulder, the one that will turn your willy into a popsicle, 8,132, 9,100. And now the sex symbols of the Pokemon community, Sylveon, the fairy of the evolutions, and no, I don't mean it as a derogatory term for homosexual, it's quite literally a fairy. Although considering it's 8,917 and 10,000 posts, it might as well be gay. The Ironically, the Porygon isn't even the most popular of its evolution line. Eevee, the original vanilla flavor thing, has 10,178 and 12,000 entries. And they all bow down to the might of goth girlfriend Umbreon with its 12,080 and 13,000 posts. The true compatibility deity of the Eevee line. Breaksin, despite it being the middle evolution of the Fennekin line, the Pokemon fandom is much unlike to the Genshin Impact fandom, and it's not listening to the Age of Consent, from 7,934 times to 10,000 times. Lopunny, yeah, Joker's girlfriend, Hugh Hefner's personal escort Pokemon, the moment you see it, you know it was intentional, living proof of my theory, 11,549 and 11,000 posts support it. And now, the absolute icons of EF. The Uber tier, the main mascot, the main character, the face you see on everything, Pika Pika motherfucker, 13,062 and 15,000 posts. And now, the one you've all been waiting for, Gardevoir. The first one to give Game Freak the idea of how to make Pokemon eternal. Gardevoir has been banged more times than you can fathom, 21,345 and 16,000 times. The undisputed champ of Pokemon Yif is what I would say. If this next Pokemon never existed, this poor Pokemon read the demographics aura and knew. Converting them all into furries was in fact the right call. Lucario, 22,252 and 24,000 entries. Believe me when I say it's because this Pokemon isn't depicted exclusively as male or female, it appeals to all. The absolute greatest moneymaker Game Freak has forced down our throats since 4th gen. And thank you all for sitting through this horrible video. Consider subscribing and liking the video if you enjoyed it. I may eventually do all Pokemon later down the line. Eventually.